Back in 2019, in the before COVID time, I was asked to come down to Redwood Community Radio, KMUD in Redway, to do a music show. I resisted the idea for a while, partly due to the commute, partly due to, how shall I put this, negative experiences at a previous radio station. k is located in Southern Humboldt in Redway, California, and I live just south of Eureka, so for me, it was a 71-mile drive one way. But eventually, I warmed to the idea, and I do enjoy the time in the car. I can preview some music, let my thoughts drift, and decompress. I spent a lot of time in front of a computer in my everyday job, so it's nice to watch the beautiful scenery go by. Analog scenery. The show starts at 2 p.m. on Saturdays right after Soup to Nuts, which is hosted by Rattlesnake Jake. I really enjoy Jake's show and my interactions with him and all the k people. I covered Jake's show for a few months during the early part of the pandemic, and I also engineered a number of Saturday shows while the station was off limits to programmers. I really like to be useful whenever possible. So helping other came out programmers to keep their shows going during COVID was just a no-brainer. My name is Mateo Noche, although that's not my real name. That's my radio name. I've been involved in public radio one form or another since the late 90s. I caught the radio bug early. The idea that words and music just flew through the air, that you could pull them in and listen to them anytime you wanted to, basically for free, well, that really amazed me, and I was immediately hooked. In college, I was a communications major. During my very checkered college career, I should say. But I did the college radio thing at KRHC, Rio Hondo Community College in Whittier, California, for a couple years. My instructor there was a guy named Jay Lothgren, who worked with Warren Miller of surf and ski movie fame. Jay produced a TV show called The Liars Club, which you Larry Hovis fans might recall. Anyway, I got diverted into all other sorts of occupations throughout my adult life. I was a musician, a recording engineer, I worked in the insurance business, I pinstriped cars, I worked in a gas station, I delivered O-rings, I worked for a gasket factory, you name it. Eventually, I made it back to radio. I started my show, which is called A Little Night Music in the Afternoon, in August of 2019. It's very much like the radio show I did for another radio station for almost 20 years. My show is very, how shall I say it, eclectic. It's not one of those, why does a dog lick itself? type shows where you play, you know, Herb Albert next to the Sex Pistols. But I very much like old music that sounds new and new music that sounds old. 
And to me, it's all about the flow. The first song in my set may not sound like the last song in my set, but the progress is usually logical. Usually. I also really like things like missing dogs. Well, now I don't like missing dogs, but I like reuniting people with their missing dogs. And I usually advise uh, folks when I get a, a missing dog, like let's say it's a schnauzer or something, I usually say something to the effect that uh, people should go throw open their back door and see if uh, they're missing a schnauzer. And if they are, they can call the station or they can call the number that I've given out and uh, be reunited with the schnauzer. And uh, when that happens during my shift and I get uh, confirmation that the dog has been reunited uh, happily with its owner, I get a really great feeling and it, it, it feels like, uh, you know, I'm helping somehow. And I like to help. And I might get a call from somebody who's having an event of some kind that benefits the community and... I could put that information right out on the air and get people moving in that direction. And it feels like we're helping and it feels like we're part of the community and that uh, we would be missed if we weren't there. KMUD is a community resource in the way that uh, radio stations really aren't anymore. That's why it's so important that everybody does their part to make sure that we stay on the air and that we, and that we continue to bring news and information that enriches people's lives. KMUD is a funky little radio station, and I mean that in the nicest way. From the ancient airboard to the creaky CD players and turntables, it's very much a throwback to the bad old days of radio, by which I mean the good old days. The station continues to mean a lot to the Southern Humboldt community and beyond. During the camp days, they would announce when the DEA convoys were headed up the road so growers could cover up or bug out. In addition to music, it provides much needed local news and public affairs programming. It really is the heart of the community in a way that radio stations really aren't anymore. Radio is a weird medium. And for me, it definitely involves many is this thing on moments. Well, it turns out it is on and people are listening. I get calls from people who tell me how much my show has meant to them over the years, how much they like what I just played, suggestions for other things to play, or just letting me know that they're out there and listening, and I really appreciate that. But I often think, how is it possible that radio can affect people's lives? But as it happens, what we do here at KMUD really does affect people in a positive way. I stand in awe of the power to connect with people through music and through radio. And as I like to say, radio may be old magic, but it's still magic.